So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you want to know how to enable this check my progress you can check the description now open the console in incognito window now here if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now we will cover step by step method so wait for it now here basically activate the cloud shell so we are activating the cloud shell here you have to click on continue and just authorize yourself So now in the description box of this video, I've shared one GitHub repository. You have to just come back here and just click on it and just paste on your cloud shell. Now it will execute and here we have to do one task manually and the second task also I will tell you what we need to do. So wait for some time. You have to click on this URL. Basically we have to configure it. So just click on it. For the export name, you need to come back to the lab instruction. Now here, just come to this task. Wait a second, you can see number four. Copy the name carefully. Make sure there is no extra space of full stop. Paste over here. Now once you have done, you have to select the project ID like this. And then we have to select the topic. All things are done. Now click on save. Now it will take some time to so wait for it. Now once it shows active stated, come here on the cloud shell type Y and then hit enter. Now this step may take 3 to 4 minutes so wait for it and then we will move forward to the next step. Basically after that we have to create a BigQuery table. So just wait. See all things have been done. Now we have to just click on the first URL that is view findings and then bigquery will open so here basically many of you are facing issues so i will tell you step by step method here no need to worry about it now here click on add data and once you will click on add data you have to just search the cloud storage wait a minute here come to task number two and point number three copy google cloud storage like this paste over here and select it okay you have to just select it scroll down select this one now here basically we have to select this file so you can just paste it or just browse like this and select it once you have selected change the format to this and data set to this now for table name copy from here make sure there is no extra space now update the table type and schema so just copy it from here okay and just paste and create the table now if you face any kind of error just refresh the browser basically reroute the window and if you face any other kind of issue then what you need to do you need to restart the lab and complete again now check the score for all the tasks and do like the video and subscribe the channel